Hello to all members of the Prime Land. As you may know, Prime UI libraries are heading to an unstyled direction. Unstyled mode is an alternative to the styled mode. So in unstyled mode, the default classes do not exist on the page. You don't need to worry about them, but instead the components provide a way, in this case, the password attributes, um, so that you'll be able to use any CSS library of your choice, like Tailwind, Bootstrap, Bulma, you know, CSS or anything else. So uh, we have a we had a preset for Tailwind and now we're taking it a step further because if you check out this page, which is the which goes through how to integrate Prime View with Tailwind. But it's just like when, when you look at it, it's just text, text, more text and blah, blah. Well, we've decided to make it more fancy and decided to build a new uh, mini showcase on top of it, which demonstrates all the components tail, uh, start with Tailwind. So uh, in a couple of weeks, you will get um, a new uh, presets, two new presets for Prime View, and then we will port it to Prime Rack and Prime NG as well later. So the Prime View version will be the first one that will get it. So there will be a two presets as I mentioned. One preset implements the Prime One design system, which is called Lara theme, and it will be based on Tailwind. You will be able to change the primary colors. And also uh, we are providing, we will be providing a Tailwind UI like preset as well. And I think by the end of the year, we will have a new brand new fancy, very attractive uh, theme uh, that will just replace Lara as the default. At launch, we are planning to come up with two. So here, um, this this is like the under construction page. There will uh, we will be replacing this with a new website. There will be a new landing, and there will be a new uh, showcase that's built on top of uh, this showcase. It will be like a fork, but instead of, for example, with calendar, you will be able to see the calendar with start with tailwind. Here's the proof of concept though. So here, if you check this, I, I will be dropping this link to uh, in the comment section as well. So here's a proof of concept and we will build a new tailwind based UI library on top of it. The good part is that you don't need to, also we don't need to change anything regarding the components because everything is, the architectural wise is quite flexible. You don't need to change anything in your component files in your application. It's just a global configuration that you change and then you're good to go. For example, if you check out app view, suppose that you have your application and at that main.js, you will be, you just need to say, okay, set prime view to unstyled and the password configuration would be Lara. Lara is a preset like this one. Okay, a preset is like, it can be implemented within CSS library, your own library. In this case, it's Tailwind. And we are also providing an, another preset called Tailwind UI. These are like proof of concept. We are just going through, through some uh, final polish stages for these. So let's check out the demo first. Okay, here you may see that we have the primary color selectors. Here we can change the primary colors for the components. And then also the surface colors, like you have a couple of surface options for dim, dark, a couple of dark modes. I think we will provide at least five by default and you will be able to customize them in this default preset because they are just extensions to, these are like extensions to the Tailwind configuration and these classes are used inside the preset. So every preset may have its own uh, Tailwind extensions. In this one, it has like 20 new classes and they are used like surfaces and primary colors. So if you check this one out, there's also the dark mode, it's quite easy. And the nice thing about this is that we can also change the preset. So the preset is like, you may think of it as a, like an implementation of a design system, a brand new theme, like different take on different opinion. And for example, this one is the Tailwind UI. I just played with it. Like I just made the padding smaller, uh, added some different colors and so on. For example, if you check out the dialog, the input borders are uh, more visible. The colors are a bit different. And here you can see I've just added, added uh, some sort of padding to the UL uh, list element here in the default preset. It's just, it looks like this. And if you check the Tailwind UI preset, it, likes, it looks like this. And you see that I just removed the border uh, radius from these elements as well. And switching between presets, it's everything is reactive on our end. So switching between presets is quite easy. There is a change preset option. Let's check that one out. So I'm just passing some numbers and I can just switch between uh, different presets. Like if 
the preset is in this case zero just switch to lara and you can come up with your own process as well and the next thing that we are going to do is that we will provide a page where you will be able to submit your own presets like the community community presets that will be at first we don't expect a, a full a preset for all the components because there are like 90 of them and you can just for example here's my preset for form components and the buttons is the calendar and you may just implement it with tailwind or any other css library and we will put up filters like uh, this component starts with Tailwind so that you, you will be able to browse through uh, presets. And maybe in the future there will be a marketplace for presets, we don't know. But it, it initially it will be just uh, community-driven presets. And we will also provide first-party presets as well. And I think uh, that, that gave a nice idea. Uh, we are really excited about this, as I mentioned, to, summar uh, to summarize. Prime React will also getting it. Prime React 10 is now unstyled and the Prime NG, the new version will just need to support pass through and then unstyled and it will also receive it because I think Angular really needs uh, a, a nice looking attractive UI library that supports unstyled mode. And uh, the Prime View uh, will be the first version and then Prime React and then Prime NG. And then as I mentioned, you will be able to customize everything with Tailwind. Even if you have a design system, you will be able to implement it because Prime View and the Prime UI libraries are now more than a UI library right now. They are like um, primitives to build your own UI library. So if you have a design system, you're good to go. If you don't have, you can just get one of the nice looking presets and then develop your application. So it's, in both cases, it's a win-win situation. That's it from me. Um, so quite nice stuff and we are really working hard on it. In a couple of weeks we will plan to release the primary version and the next other versions will um, follow. Thank you and see you on the next video.